Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how easy it is to create professional quality animation in Keynote. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So if you're creating Keynote presentations and not including animation because you think it might be too difficult. Let me show you how easy it could be. There are several different ways to animate things in Keynote. The simplest is something called Magic Move and you can use it to create really good looking animations with minimal effort. First let's take a look at the basics. I have a new presentation here. I'm going to get rid of the default text boxes and I'm just going to add something simple to it. Just a shape. A little circle there in the middle. Now let's say I want to animate this. I want it to go from one side of the screen to the other. Well one of the easiest ways to do that is just to simply have two slides. One with the starting position and one with the end position. So here I've got the one slide. I'm going to select that and I can go to Edit, Duplicate Selection or Command D. Now I've got two slides, the circle in the same place on both. Let's go to the first one and I'm going to move it somewhere to the left. Let's go to the second one and I'm going to move it somewhere to the right. I can animate between the two of these so easily. Go to the first one. Select Animate here in the right sidebar and add an effect. Add Magic Move. And that's it. It's going to preview it for you right there and you can click this Preview button to see it again. It figures out the differences between these two slides and animates between them. Since the only change is the circle moves then it will just move it. And you can continue to adjust the animation. So on the first slide here I can move the circle somewhere else like there. I go to the second slide and move it somewhere else like that. And now I'll select the first slide and preview again and you can see the animation just updates with my changes. But you can do more than just move it. For instance on this first slide I could select it and then go to Format and I could change something about it like the opacity so I can make it transparent. So all the way down here I'm going to go and make it completely transparent. On the second slide I'm going to select it and I'm going to do something different. I'm going to enlarge it. If I hold down the Shift and Option keys and drag it will enlarge it while keeping the center. So I'm going to make it nice and big. So now I'll go to this first slide here. I'll add the effect Magic Move and you can see what it does. It sees there are two changes. One is it goes from transparent to opaque and the other is that it gets larger and it animates both of those. So those examples aren't anything special but you can use them with nicer graphics to create effects that even Apple uses in its own presentations. For instance look here and see this basic animation that Apple has been using for a few years now. All of these little parts slide into place and they fade in at the same time. It looks nice and professional and much better than just popping that information up on the screen. Well here I've created a similar thing. There's nothing really special about this. It's a bunch of rounded rectangle boxes that I created. I just created shapes and then used rounded rectangle here. And then I place them really nicely with some text over them, use some emoji and some shapes. In this one I dragged and dropped an image right into it just to create some basic stuff that you might want to show on a slide. So now just like with that previous animation all I need to do is duplicate this slide. So I'll just go to Edit, Duplicate Selection with the slide selected. I've got two copies of the same slide. The second one represents exactly how I want things to look when it's done. So the first one has to represent how things should look to begin with. So there's several different things that need to change. First I want all the things on the outside to slide in. So let's zoom out a bit here. I'll just use Command Shift and then Comma and it zooms out or you can use the trackpad and I have plenty of space here. I want to select each one of these making sure I select all the different items in it and I want to move it. So I'll move this one. I'll slide it off here to the left. I'll select this one. I'll slide it up here above. This one I'm going to slide above but you know what? Not the same place because then they're just going to move in together. If I make this one slide in further it's going to have to move faster and it will move in at a different time than this. So I'm going to do that for each pair here. So this one maybe I'll just have barely go off the edge whereas this one I'll have go off by a lot. And this one here just barely. This one by more. This one and you can even play around with like doing a diagonal like this so it's going to slide in diagonally. For the one here in the middle I actually want this to be bigger so I'm going to use Option Shift and drag one of the points to enlarge it like that. So that's the starting point for all of this. The other thing I want to do is I want to have everything fade in. So I'm going to select everything here. I'm going to go to Format 
and set the opacity to 0 for it all. So now I have the same elements on slide 1 as slide 2 but they're all starting completely faded to transparent and they're in different positions or in case of the middle one it's enlarged. So now when I apply the Magic Move effect everything slides in and fades in. Let's see how it looks when I play it. And you can see it. Pretty easy to make and pretty easy to edit as well. If I go to the first slide everything's transparent but it's all still there. I can click there and if I select one thing I can do Command A to select everything and see where everything is located. And if I want at that point I could actually go in and set the opacity to something a little bit bigger than 0 just so I can play around with the position or edit the elements. Just remember if you ever make a change to anything like you change some text in here that you want to copy and paste that item into here so that the elements match perfectly. Or better yet always edit this slide and whenever you make changes recreate this one. You can also use grouping but you have to remember to ungroup. So if I wanted to rotate this then I would want to group it like that. Hold the Command key down and drag a corner and maybe rotate it like that. Then go back and ungroup it. Otherwise the magic move won't work. But now you can see this one here will actually rotate into place like that. And that's just one example of how to use Magic Move. I encourage you to play around with it. Just create a nice looking slide. Duplicate it and then work with that first slide to make some changes and see how it looks when you preview the Magic Move. Experiment and see what cool things you can come up with. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.